Hello and welcome to another fun field episode of Educational Mechanics. In this video we're going to look purely at the synchromesh part of the manual transmission with close ups and slow motion gear changes. This footage is part of a larger video looking at synchromesh manual transmissions. The synchromesh is the part of the gearbox that allows you to make seamless gear changes with no grinding. So, looking at the gear change more closely, as we can see and hear, it moves across with no hint of grinding. Right then, component parts. What we have here is a main shaft gear, and you can see it's smooth inside and not splined to a shaft. It also has an integral cone, as you can see. The bolt ring has an internal groove cone, which matches the cone on the gear. When forced together, the frictional properties of the bolt ring force the gear to rotate with it. The inner hub of the synchromesh unit is splined to the main shaft, and the outer sleeve is splined to the inner hub, but allowed to move backwards and forwards over it. When a bolt ring is placed in the unit, you can see that the outer sleeve will only slide over the top bolt ring when the shaft speeds are synchronised, guided by the bolt ring dog teeth. So, if we put it all together, you can see as I put some force against the cone clutch, friction takes over, synchronising the speeds of the gears. Once the speeds have been matched, further force allows the outer sleeve via the bulk ring dog teeth to be guided effortlessly onto the dog teeth of the main shaft gear, locking it all up as one unit. Right then, let's have a look at the gear engagement, again at normal speed, and then again in slow motion. So we can see the inner member, the outer sleeve, the bolt ring, and here the main shaft second gear. As the driver applies pressure to the selector fork, this is the selector fork here, the inner member presses the bolt ring cone up against the cone of the main gear. The bolt ring grabs hold of the main gear and starts to turn at the same speed as they're being pressed together. With further force on the selector fork and with the speed synchronised, the outer sleeve is guided over the bolt ring and onto the main gear dog teeth, locking it all up as one unit. And there we go. Thanks for watching.